Hey folks, I'm Eddie. I have Sony ECM W2BT wireless microphone in front of me. This is how the box looks like and uh, in the box you will get the micro USB charging cable, 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter audio cable, windscreen for the microphone, the bracket that holds the microphone and the receiver together. Then we have the microphone here. the receiver and a little bag to store all of this now let's check out the microphone again here we have two lights this one is going to light blue when it's connected and we have a power light here is the microphone this is here and here is a 3.5 jack which accepts um, the external microphone so this is the microphone but it's also it can be a receiver for another microphone for example if I take this microphone here and I plug it, so now you're going to record the audio with this microphone here and this is going to serve you as a receiver. So that's why we have here this 3.5 millimeter input. Now on the side of the microphone we have the power on and off button and then we have here attenuation slider so you can increase the surrounding reception of the microphone for example if you're doing the interview you want to put it on zero and then you can hold it just like this in the hand and talk with the person but if you want to clip it to your shirt then you want to reduce this to reduce the range of this microphone so it's going to record only you and not the surrounding noises now here we also have a micro USB charging port and it has a really strong clip here so that's the microphone now let's check out the receiver the receiver we have pretty much the same setup here we have the lights so the first one is the link it's going to a light blue when it's connected then we have the power light um, another interesting thing about this receiver is that it's a microphone too so technically you get two microphones here is the microphone um, on this side we have again micro USB charging port and then we have here mic output on the left side we have here three modes so first one is the mic that means that only this microphone is going to record the sound then we can also add it to for example mix that means that both of the microphones are going to record the sound so this is good for example if you're sitting behind the camera you have here the microphone you can speak into this microphone and the person you're interviewing can use this microphone and the third option is the receiver which means that only this microphone on the receiver is going to record and this one is not now let's check out this slider here so right now is on off that means that the receiver is turned off if we put it on digital that means that the sound is going to be recorded through these microphones and it's going to be sent to the camera through this shoe here now if i put it on analog that means that the sound is not going to be sent to the camera through the shoe here rather you'll have to use 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter uh, cable and then you'll plug it into the microphone like this and this will go into the camera so now the sound is being sent through this cable directly to the camera now you're probably wondering okay so what is the difference right if we can send the sound through the shoe why do we need this so the difference is once you send the sound only through the shoe you will not be able to control your sound volume uh, with the camera rather you will only be able to control it here while if you use the 3.5 millimeter jack then you'll be able to actually control uh, the audio with your camera settings so that's the difference here now the last thing i want to show you is just how it looks on the camera so here is my zv e10 and as you can see it's extremely simple you're just going to put it here and slide it so this is how it looks on the camera as you can see it's really small and compact and of course it's super light too so it's not going to add any weight to your camera now the last thing i want to do here is just to test it out to show you the audio recording so let's do that next okay so my camera is on and you can see the blue light here and the blue light here that means that it's connected so i'm going to 
press here to record a short video and just actually just to demonstrate the audio for you. So first I'm going to set it to zero decibels. Test, test, one, two, test. This is the test. Then let's set it to minus 10. Test, test, one, two, test. This is the test. And now let's set it to minus 20 decibels. Test, test, one, two, test. This is the test. And when it comes to the receiver, if it's set on digital, then it's going to use the energy of your um, camera through this shoe here. And if you use it on analog, then you'll have to charge it here through the micro USB cable. And that's pretty much everything about Sony ECM-W2BT wireless microphone. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment box below. And um, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.